Hey ladies, so here we go. This is the Zuri brand, sis sister name brand wig. And this is Chia, I think that's how you say it. And as you can see, this is a pre-tweezed Swiss lace front wig. Already tweezed, don't have to do anything. Nice, wide enough part. It does have the combs and the adjustable strap. And I know you girls are like, whoa, what is up with that color? So yes, you guys, yes, honeys. So the first thing I'm gonna do as the norm, I'm gonna put me some concealer, which is my e.l.f. all over cover stick. And I'm just gonna place that into the back, or better yet, not the back, but the underneath portion of the lace, just so it can kinda like blend in with my scalp. Now I do have a little bit of my own natural leave out because you guys know I like for my edges to look rounded, not kind of squared off. I'm just going to situate this unit. The color is so pretty, very, very pretty. And I do like the texture of this wig, like life, mm, I am feeling this. I'm just gonna take some of that concealer and match it up with my own natural hairline. Now, I always think it's best to use a small brush when putting on any type of concealer. And for those of you who have asked me about this product, this is actually Topic. I do use another brand called Strand Maximizer. They're fairly similar. And this gives me thicker edges. It'll also cover up any type of balding spots that you may have if you want to camouflage them. But I love this stuff. Never leave home without it. So my edges be looking thick. Mm, love it. Do you see how it's filling in? Very, very great product I highly suggest it. now the topic does look like tiny little hair fibers in case I did forget to mention that they just look like tiny little hairs it's a dry fiber dry you know product and you just spritz it on it does not come with a nozzle I like to use all C instant freeze hairspray for anything to lay my edges to set my edges to just set anything, I'm using it, okay? I love to use it. And to me, the Aussie is a little bit better than using hair, um, hair gel sometimes because it just gets the job done a lot quicker and it also helps set the topic. You don't really need it, but I do like to use it. So I like to use the hairspray with my topic. As you can see my edges are coming in really thick and they do look more natural opposed to using like eyeshadow or that black hair gel that is kind of supposed to give you like a illusion of edges I really don't like that stuff because it just looks wet and thick so I really highly suggest getting the topic or the strand maximizer if you do suffer suffer <laughs> from thin edges girls but yes this is a gorgeous unit I really do like this one a lot and Diva Trust has a bunch of the Zuri brand wigs. So yes, make sure you check them out, girls. Okay, girls, do you see this hair? Like, OMG. Yes. First of all, I like this color on me like seriously lately I have been getting real bold with all these different colors green pink blue red burgundy like I think this one out of all the colorful ones that I've done is my favorite like yes this one is my favorite I don't know if it's because it matched the eyeshadow look or it just bounces off of me but I'm really feeling this color like this is a nice Wig. like seriously so first of all this is by the Zuri brand this is their sis sister wig brand which is like amazing I'm not really sure how new this brand is but Deepa Trust got a lot of their units so I am really excited about that the color that I have on is the SOM S-O-M I think that stands for like 
some ombre but it's rt burgundy and it's more or less a yakky texture which is really great and the one thing that i was so amazed with this wig was it was a pre-tweezed curved part so first of all girls i didn't have to do anything but cut the lace off and blend it into my hair i did not have to tweeze anything which is like out of this world the part came like this already tweezed already already tweezed that's one soft lace too swiss soft lace which is really really great so it just melts right into your skin of course it does have the three combs and the adjustable strap in it but i do like the color a lot this is like a different kind of burgundy color i have tried other burgundies which really wasn't so bright like this one but this one i will tell you i really really do like it a lot for one, like I said, Diva Trust has a lot of these. They have a lot of wigs in general, as well as makeup. So you guys know I am all the way in expensive makeup. Sometimes I do like expensive makeup. But if you can get makeup and hair from one place, then just go ahead and do so. But yes, you can put heat to this if you want to. I'm not saying go ahead and do it. But I think this is heat friendly. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Um, hmm. Yes, it is heat friendly, but why would you want to put heat to this? I mean, a lot of people want to put some curl in this, but I'm going to just be honest with you guys. Once you put heat into your wigs, they just change. The hair becomes ratty. It just doesn't last as long. If this is yakky, it's going to become silky texture, and so it's going to be a totally different wig, and you're probably not going to be too happy with it. So in my opinion, I would just stick with the yakky straight texture the length of it is really realistic this is more or less like 20 inches and the density of it is really great too some wigs like lace front wigs like human hair lace front wigs that you buy from like these popular websites they're not as dense as this and you're paying like three four hundred dollars for the wig but you got yourself a synthetic wig which gives you a nice realistic density as well as the color is bomb ass now i do like the fact that the roots are dark so that is like really impressive to me because I hate when I get like a wig that's colored and then the roots are all colored that just drives me insane I do prefer my roots to be dark and as for the roots being dark it's not all choppy more or less it's a little bit and it just gradually goes into the color so I think they did a really great job with this and Zuri has come out with some really nice styles it's nice to see these wig companies doing wigs that are more realistic texture for us African American women versus the silky ones me honestly I'd rather just do like the um, the yakky texture wigs like I still do like the silky texture wig wigs but if I had my choice I would definitely only gear to like the yakky texture because for one they don't tangle as much and for two they just look so realistic so yes honey yes yes okay I'm feeling this I love this color like she's gorgeous mm, mm, yes Check out Diva Trust. I will post all the information for this unit below. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this burgundy life right here. And as always, stay Diva and Divalicious. And I'll see you girls and guys on my next video. Bye.